Hello and welcome back to The Cursing Seamstress. This video um, will probably cover a lot of um, material, excuse the pun. Um, <clears throat> I think last time I showed you some kitchen towels that I had embroidered on and I was going to attach a, a topper. Um, and I did that and I just wanted to show you what a topper is in case you don't know. This is one, I just designed this myself after watching um, a, a video tutorial um, and I just drew it out and um, it works pretty well. Um, what I do is um, I just created a template. I did put some interfacing on both sides of the fabric. I surged the edge I turned the edge up a quarter of an inch where the surging um, was and um, toward the uh, wrong side. And then I put right sides together, stitched it, uh, used pinking shears to um, cut excess fabric away, turned it right side out, ironed it down. And what I do is I just, um, you can either gather the fabric, uh, the towel fabric, or you can pleat it. That's I use the pleating, I hate gathering, and just um, insert it in here and stitch across here. And I'll usually stitch across the top too. And that's a buttonhole there. So this um, will be folded down and will uh, button or snap whatever you choose to do over a cabinet handle or something to um, keep the towel from falling off. And I make a lot of these for my daughter. She has two little boys and they're constantly pulling on the towel and um, the towel is ending up on the floor. You can use this in the bathroom too over, you know, a bar or uh, a round, um, you know, hoop kind of thing, uh, whatever you have in, in your bathroom. So that's what that looks like. Um, this fabric I think you've seen, I don't remember where I got it. I'm thinking Walmart, but it could have been Hobby Lobby. It's just a cotton twill kind of fabric. Um, so it will fold down like this. I've got the buttonhole. And the saying I put on there is, um, home is where the coffee is. Um, this is either from Embroidery Library or from Urban Threads. That's where I buy most of my designs and they have fabulous sales. So. Um, it is um, kind of doubled the bar towel that I buy from Walmart. They come in a set of, I don't remember how many, four or six of them and they're a big square. And so I cut the bar towel down the middle and finish the edges and to make this, you don't want it to be horribly long. So I just fold it over when I put it Put it inside and pleat it so that um, so it's not so long. I mean, you could cut it off shorter if you wanted to and not have it folded over. So that's that one. Um, here's another one. This is um, with that same Easter topper, and this says, um, "You silly rabbit, Easter is for Jesus." Um, this was a free design. Um, it was hellacious to stitch out. It kept knotting up, um, and that's one of the things when you do embroidery, it's really a good idea to stay with your embroidery. You never know what's gonna happen, and you hate to waste fabric and time and energy um, to have something not work out and have to throw it away. So, um, so that's that one. It actually came out fine. I just had to be there to catch what was happening. Um, this one is another Easter one. Um, again, that gets folded over. This, I just put um, two bunnies on. This, actually, the bunnies are a little bit too dense for this fabric. This is kind of gauzy. It's all cotton, but it's a little gauzy and thin. But it came out fine. Again, I had to stay with this. Um, I mirrored these two images together. Um, because this just each little bunny was fairly small so to take up more space i um i mirrored them and um and stitched it out so that's that i love this design this i have not yet put a topper on um that's the next step i had to go to walmart and buy some fabric to get um the proper color 
Um, but I think this design came fr from Embroidery Library. Um, and it's a coffee cup. And it has words on there like espresso, latte, mocha, coffee, um, cappuccino. I just love that. I love the colors. Um, I actually stitched pretty close to the colors that um, were recommended, including that sage green and um, <clears throat> the sort of um, burgundy color that worked out well with the background of this towel. This fabric, by the way, that's what I was gonna tell you too. I um, went to Habitat for Humanity in my, close to my town, and um, their fabric is usually overpriced and quite old, but I was very fortunate. I had actually seen this before and I had not bought it, but there is a lady there who has told me to, um, to get up with her if I ever want a discount on fabric. And she happened to be there Saturday when I went. And um, so she gave me a discount on all the fabric. All the fabric that I'll show you that I bought there, I got for, I think, $4.25. Um, <clears throat> also, I got a long white zipper that was still in the um, packaging and some Velcro that was still in packaging. Um, I don't remember when I paid for those, but it was, I'm sure, about 25% of the price that you would pay at um, a sewing store or at Walmart. Okay, so that's that. I have to, um, I've already surged the edges on this. Um, the next thing will be to fold the, the surged edge over twice and to hem the bottom. And this part will be um, gathered or pleated and put underneath a topper. So that's that one this I love too this is the same fabric that I got at Habitat for Humanity and this is I think also from Embroidery Library I'm sorry if I'm wrong but it's either Urban Threads or Embroidery Library and this says I have a date with Joe every morning I love that I think this is the first time I've stitched that out um, this I have not yet surged the edges on um, I've got to do that I still have the, the backing the stabilizer uh, tearaway stabilizer on the back of that but um, I just love that design I love coffee I love coffee designs I showed you this design last time but uh, I did not have it with the topper so this is the topper I just had um, green fabric and this I've already put a button on too so um, that's that and um, that's the winosaur and I like that a lot. Um, as far as the fabric that I got at Habitat for Humanity in my local town, um, that fabric, the towel fabric was one that I got. It is like a very thin brushed flannel, which is perfect for a hand towel. But I have to think that this fabric all came from the same person because it they're also similar, um, and this is one, I, I love this. It has uh, flamingos on it, um, doing various things. Um, it has words on it, flock of flamingos, and I think there's about a yard of this, and this is made by Nancy Wolf, W-O-L-F-F. -F. So this feels like 100% um, cotton, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I, I don't know. My daughter wants a pair of shorts. Um, I may do something like that, but I love that fabric. All of this has been washed. I wash everything that, all fabric that I buy, but of course, anything that comes from a thrift store, I would wash. This too came uh, from the same store. This is um, a purple, it almost looks like an outer space kind of fabric. It's purple, green, red, blue, yellow, and orange. Not sure how much is here, maybe a yard. And this also feels like cotton. And this is from Magical Bears by Chanticleer Fabrics, C-H-A-N-T-E-C-L-A-I-R-E Fabrics. Not sure what I'm going to do with that either. 
Actually, this might could be used as like a, a Halloween towel topper. Um, I could see that. And I've got a lot of Halloween designs too that I could use for that. And this fabric, again, it, I think it was all donated by the same person because of the sort of the colors are so similar and they're all kind of quirky fabrics. This is from Timeless Treasures Fabrics. Um, and I think there's a little bit more than a yard here. Um, and the swirls actually it's meant to go like that. But um, this is great too. This feels like 100% cotton as well. And I just wanted to show you what I've, I've oh, I didn't show you this fabric. This is another piece of fabric that I got from that same place. And I've already turned this fabric into a pair of shorts for my four-year-old grandson. Um, the print is so cute. It's dinosaurs playing instruments. And um, I put a pocket on the side. I don't know if you can see the little pocket there. It's right there. And I put um, the, I think I told you I did a video about my, um, the little tags that I bought. I stuck that in the back so he can tell the front from the back. But I just think that those are adorable. And I did make this with a pattern. Um, I made a size five. And he is tall for his age, but he's kind of skinny around the middle. So I always have to adjust the elastic. Um, this I showed you last time, the design. I told you I was gonna turn it into a pillow, and I did do that. I did another one too, but it's the same. I did the same kind of pillow. I did not put any piping around this. It is an envelope style pillow. And of course this says um, bunny kisses and Easter wishes. And uh, that came out really nice. This is a 16 by 16. And again, I like to use the sizes of the pillow forms that they sell at Walmart so people can easily find something to um, stuff the the um, pillow cover into. And then lastly, I just wanted to show you fabric that I bought yesterday. I needed to pick up fabric for a kitchen topper that was um, a neutral sort of fabric, mostly for these, um, these, this fabric here, something that would coordinate with that in a neutral color. And I found this. It is a cotton twill. I think this was $2 and maybe 25 cents at Walmart. It was in their discounted bin. Occasionally, maybe twice a year, um, they will take a bunch of fabric and put it in a bin in the aisle and, um, and discount it. So I got, I think, three yards of this. And of course, neutral fabrics like this are really easy to use up. Not in the discount bin was this fabric, but it was marked down to $2 a yard. I think this fabric is a real unusual find for my Walmart. This feels like cotton and polyester. I, as a matter of fact, I know it's got polyester in it because there is some stretch to it. And, um, and it's really rare to find cotton polyester blends that have stretch. It's not a lot of stretch but it's definitely there. And um, so I bought, I think, three yards of this, and I think I'm gonna use some of this for shorts for my daughter. Um, this has already been washed up, and uh, I really like this a lot. And then lastly, again, this is unusual for my Walmart. This fabric is an off-white fabric it is a corded fabric. There are very fine cords on one side, not on the other side. Um, but this also has stretch to it, which is a rarity. Um, my Walmart just doesn't stock this kind of fabric. So I bought, I think I got three yards of this too. And um, all of the fabric that I bought totaled up to, I think it was like 14 or $17, something like that. Um, but I love this, and it's a nice medium weight, sort of a, a very fine corduroy. Um, 
and I don't know, this would make some good shorts too. I mean, there's tons of stuff, pants, shorts, all kinds of stuff. So I think that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, and um, I will see you again in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching.